Right there, folks, welcome back to Are We There Yet? We are still with the Clyde, and in the Championship, we are enjoying ourselves immensely. We're not so much as when we smashed Morton five goals to nil, which you would have seen last video. Let's see how we've been getting on since then before we take on Aberdeen at Pitodri in the League Cup quarters. That's today's game, an exciting encounter, but uh, we were brought right back to earth with a home defeat. Two goals in two minutes from... Uh, Ham for Hamilton, Academicals, uh, Charles Arby and Philip Balage with goals. Good goals. Uh, it wasn't a great game for us. We, I mean, we were we were well worth a point, but sadly they just got, as as I pointed out, they've got players of quality beyond what we can actually manage. You can see Arby there is by far and away uh, a far better player than, yeah. Yeah, far better player than we can attract. But there it is. Then we went to wait to Kilmarnock and won five goals to nil at Brace for Marbot Bride, Rusting Wall, Robbie Fleck, and Drew Macreath with goals. A 2 1 home win over Wraith. Uh, we went down to 10 men early. Stephen Miller, the left back, the youngster, sent off early on for a. Uh, well, it didn't look much in the highlights, but apparently it was a late tackle and well worth a red card. So we went uh, went down and had to really fight our way through this one. Went 2 0 up just before half time. And we held that lead up until the 90th minute when Adam King pulled back a consolation as it just was. But it was a, a good win given the circumstances. Uh, a 4-1 win away at St Mirren. This was uh, Petrofac, obviously with the holders of the Petrofac, so it was good to, to maintain that. A uh, 4-1 win St Mirren in our division as well, so that's uh, that's encouraging the fact that we can put those to the sword. Uh, then we went to Inverness. Now Inverness are top at the moment, but we race away we took a, a two goal lead before Stephen Jack pulled us back it was John Smith and Russ Dingwall with goals then we pulled it back went back to 3-1 with McBride in the 13th minute before Farquhar uh, equalised made it uh, what, actually no he didn't did he made it two, that made it 3-2 Craig Story from the penalty spot from a dive from an Inverness player not great I was very annoyed and then they won it in the 37th minute so it was a really first half story second half we just couldn't really get going we, we huffed and puffed but really we were out of the game, although again, really, we did deserve a point. Um, never mind. And then we followed up with a 5 0 home win over, over Air United. Uh, four goals for John Smith and Russ Dingwall. John Smith has really settled into life in this division. Uh, particularly pleasing that because it's the first uh, Clyde, excuse me, we're Clyde, Air uh, unbeaten prior to that. So that's how the lead table stands. Seven games in, 15 points. We only need another 25 to be happy with our progress. Although, at this early stage, we're well, we're, we're pointed in the right direction, certainly. We've got the best goal difference in the league as well with the amount of goals that we've managed to score. And, uh, yeah, very pleasing. Uh, in terms of performances, obviously everyone's doing pretty well. You can see Dingwall there, 13 appearances for him, 10 goals, 10 assists. He's, I mean, he's got a hand in everything. He's, uh, I think he's our best average rating. And then John Smith, uh, 19 goals in 11. Although these are inflated a little bit by a lot of goals against lower league opposition in the, the League Cup, as you can see, he's got 10 in 5 in that competition. Just the 8 in 5 in the league, so he really needs to pull his socks up in, in the Championship. But we're ignoring that today, and we're going away to Aberdeen. Big tie for us, expecting to sell around 13,000 tickets for this one, which we should, if I'm right, if it works the same way as in England, I'm hoping we get half the receipts, which for 13,000... That's quite a lot. I don't think our away fans are particularly travelling. You can see they're the eighth in the Premiership, so they're not having a great start to their season. Uh, maybe they're beatable. Maybe they're beatable. Uh, probably not, actually, looking at the some of the names that will jump out to you. A few of the names jump out to me. I see their key players. It's Anthony O'Connor. Been here for some time. and yeah, It's a player we can only dream of. Uh, valued at £4.6 million. Pounds. You know, I think our club is valued at probably less than that as an entirety, but we'll see how we go. Cup football is, is a dream, and uh, we're delighted to. You can see there, be competitive was the intention, and we've reached the quarterfinals. Who knows? Can we go one step further? We're off to Pitodri. I'll see you pitch side in just a second. So there are your teams then. Uh, it's pretty much what I consider to be, at this point at least, our strongest side. Blair Curry, uh, Dylan McKendry, Colin Hamilton, Morgan Neal. Stephen Miller, Aaron Dunsmore, Robbie Fleck, Steve, uh, Drew McArthur, Drew McCreeth, John Smith and Ross Dingwall. Bench is pretty much unchanged. The only addition is number 25, Alex Petkoff, uh, joined us on deadline day. He's quite a decent player, joined us for just 3,500 from Hearts. He played OK in the Cup when we played in the Petrofac. 
but then I played him in the next league game, which was the 4-3 reverse at Inverness, which is probably a little bit harsh, on, but we, we subbed him off at half-time because he had a disaster. So, yeah, he's on the bench in place of Neil. So he, he's sort of, I see him taking Neil's place in time, but not today. So what do we tell the lads? Uh, I know we're on dogs, but let's have a go and see if we can give some... That's, you know, I don't like to give those time kind of team talks. It sort of makes out that we're... You know, the players don't want to think we're underdogs. Appreciate the the quality of the opponent, sure, but not too much. Let's get at them. Squad number eighty three on the left flank for Aberdeen. Maybe they're not taking us as seriously as they perhaps should. We're in form, certainly better form than they are. And we come forward here. This is probably not going to lead anywhere. But Russ Dingwall brings it right. Dunsmore chips ball into the penalty area. But also collects no harm done. So just it's still inside the first 10 minutes, we've not seen a lot, but it falls nicely to Stevie May, a striker uh, of, of undoubted quality. Had a little bit of a spell in the championship in England, I think. I think he played for Preston, I might be wrong. But Stevie May uh, doesn't even need to look at where the goal is. He just swivels on the spot and puts it in the back of the net. Other than that, we've we've actually had, started well, we just haven't really had possession, but we might get back into it. Flecky takes a corner, it's headed away, Stephen Miller assesses the situation, gives it back to Fleck, who's unmarked. McKendry, not the player you really want to give the ball to, but uh, Dingwall, oh, a bit of a back post. Fleck, and that's not too far. I thought Dingwall might have been better there to bring it down and take it towards goal, but he decided to blob it more towards the back post. Didn't work out this time, but that's 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 promising, at least. We're getting into positions. I think we'll just tell the lads uh, that we demand a little bit more. You know, I mean, we we want to see something from our boys, although all told... All told, eight, uh, seven shots on target to three. We're actually having a good game. MacArthur, and there it is. McCreath, Drew McCreath, the Manchester United trainee, gets on the end of that one and puts it into the back of the net to level things up here at Pataudry. And uh, you can see this now. Reverse angle, Fleck drifts that ball to that far post. He's quickly becoming a great player. MacArthur just sort of lumps it on a little bit. I uh, don't know where number 30 in goal is headed, but he misjudged that one entirely. And McCreath celebrates like a madman. And away we go, straight off. That's Aaron Rooney, isn't it? I, I know all about Aaron Rooney, of course. I, um, he's a former Stoke City player. Actually scored a young, one of the youngest goal scorers. Oh, goal scorers of a hat trick for Stoke City away at Brighton, and immediately after we score, we can see the penalty. Morgan Neal, the offender, uh, we haul the man down. It looked like, and they're going to have a chance. Adam Rooney, the man I've just been talking about, duly obliges by dispatching the ball beyond Blair Curry, and straight away we're up against it. So, so frustrating. I thought this was pretty close to Blair. I don't know. Did he palm this in? As the ginger assassin, I mean, yeah, you've got to do better than that, Blair, to be honest. I know it was hit with some pace, but, it's, you know, I mean, you're there, you're there, you've, you've got yourself in the right position. I'm a little bit frustrated, given we've actually done well in this game. We're in now bossing possession as well, to find ourselves 2-1 behind, especially to a penalty. I'm going to blame the referee, given how many yellow cards he's dished out to us. Uh, I think it really is time for everyone to dig in. It's, it's it's now when you've got this many yellow cards and a referee that's clearly trigger happy against you that you start to think ah we've nearly half the team booked we probably need to be careful of a red but we'll carry on as it is let's make a change then 55 minutes that first half uh, as, uh, well it's not really gone anywhere for us difficult to know what to do really because we've got so many yellows and uh, you know the front line we can mix up but we don't really improve it midfield-wise. I mean, MacArthur is... I mean, they're having a decent game. Flex our best midfield, even though he's not playing as well as MacArthur. I really think if we change it, we weaken it. The only player I might bring on is uh, Rooney for Dunsmore. And that does weaken his slider, but Rooney's just got a lot of experience. And straight away, Fleck takes this corner. It's headed away. It is a penalty. Quite right, too. Leveled it up, ref. Nice boy. But it is going to be a penalty now for Clyde. And McCreath, can he put this one in? He can. It makes it 2-2. And we put level things up. Let's knock this one up at Pizzodri. Two goals to two. You can see the attendance figures there. Just 182 travelling fans. I thought we might have taken more to Aberdeen. Maybe it's just the fact that it is cup football. But it is a chance to visit one of the bigger grounds. I think it's around 20,000, Pizzodri. So it's, I mean, yes, 13,000. Another booking for ours, of course. But there we go. Uh... 
mean, Aberdeen have offered very little other than the goals they've scored, so we can be pleased with that, but disappointed at the same time that we've not been able to make more of our chances. As Campbell brings the ball under his spell, here's May on this left flank. Smith, well dealt with, but the uh, rebound falls nicely back to Aberdeen, and they're in behind, crossed in. Oh, dear, Stevie May off the crossbar, or woodwork at least, off the post. And that was a little bit fortunate. And straight away, Sean Rooney now. Is it Sean Rooney? I've, I've forgotten his name. So he's straight out of the first team, and I forget his first name. I think it's Sean. And uh, well done, Fleck. Although you need to be careful, you want a yellow as uh, McKendry goes to McCreath. He's on a hat trick, but that goes over the crossbar. And we've had 14 shots, 11 on target to Aberdeen, 6 and 4. We're certainly in the ascendancy. I think we do need to make some changes now. Tired legs and yellow cards are concern. Still a little bit. I do feel that making we make the changes we make will weaken our position, but we we can't leave it as it is. I think what we shall do. Morgan Neal's not having a great game. We will get Petkoff on, and I think we will bring on Clark for MacArthur, even though MacArthur's having a storming game by all accounts. Uh, Clark, the youngster, of course. So whenever he comes on, we seem to struggle. So that's a disastrous move I've just made. But here's Fleck now. I mean, he's gone through the only player they've had booked. Pretty much. I think it is, yeah. So the only play they have a booked goes straight through the back of one of ours. So back through Fleck and Dean Campbell is dismissed. So we're actually the team, even though we've had loads of yellow cards, we're the team with the extra man for these last five, ten minutes. As Fleck now on this middle side. Ball there, forces McCreese down this left channel, checks back in, goes to Miller, but they can't quite bring it in. Clark, I don't know where we're going with this, but Rooney now. He needs to pull something out of the hat. A lucky bit of a rebound. And Fleck, Clark now, man free on the right. It says Rooney. What can he do? Gets it out of his feet. Fleck, surely. Dingwall. Oh, Dingwall. Ross Dingwall. He just needed to have a bit of composure about him. And that looks to me, I thought we were going to give away another card there. I thought we were going to have to be evened up 10 men each, but it's not to be. But is there a chance in the last five minutes? John Smith, great ball to Dingwall. Needs support. Crossed in, far post, Miller, crossbar, but Miller, Stephen Miller, the youngster, as he as he made dreams and sent Clyde to the League Cup semi-finals here at a pack, well not a pack, Pataudry, but certainly pack, more pack than we've ever been to a football match in in our career. Uh, John Smith, you can see there, lumps it through that little, lumps it, no, threaded the needle, I think is what we'll call it. Dingwall there, takes it right to the byline before squeezing across. The ball. Miller, the left back, gets up well. It's a terrific save from Orsop, but he can't do anything with that rebound. What a save that was, in fairness, from Orsop. And we need to hang on for these last four or five minutes. You'd hope we can do that with the extra man, but <laughs> you never know. This Aberdeen are a big side. And as time ticks on, I think we've done it, people. I only think we've gone and done it. Fleck gives it to Rooney, who's well out of position, but we shouldn't see any. We shouldn't really see anything at this stage. Petkoff will bring it under control. And uh, nice ball, that is. Uh, Smith, oh, could we put the gloss on it? No, Orsop tips it over the crossbar, but surely, referee, you can blow up now. We've gone and uh, won at a Premier League side, by the look of things. Yes, we have. 3-2 winners. What a game. What a game that is. We'll tell the boys that we've done magnificently and quite right, too. That's an understatement, in my opinion. Very rarely would you expect to see little little tiny Clyde go away to Aberdeen and, and rock the boat like that. So we're into the, the League Cup semi-finals. Just one game away from from uh, from the final. Uh, I'm blown away. I expected this to be a, a bit of a slaughter, to be honest. But there it is. Uh, Rangers the holders. Celtic the winners before that. So it's a competition that the big clubs take seriously. Rangers you can see through. Hibernian through. Let's be honest, Celtic probably through, and Clyde. Any one of those teams, fine. Bring them on. Let's have them at the Broadwood. And what did that do for our finances? Yeah, quite a sizable increase. We were, I think we are on around 80k, so to pick up 200, you know, well, 150 odd thousand, pretty much from that really does uh, put, a, put a nice gloss on it as well. So progression and money. What more can you say? Whew. Uh, the League Cup semi-final is in October time, so I think what we'll, we've got to come back for that, haven't we? So that'll give us a few games to recap, Championship and Petrofac, which hopefully we continue. We've got Dunfermline in there, a bit of a double header for them. And uh, yeah, we'll come back for this League Cup semi. Uh, do pop a like on there for me. I mean, a 3-2 win at Pataudry. I know some people who won't be pleased, cautious, but you know, if you if your team don't turn up, it doesn't turn up, does it? That's, that's, the, that's the thing there. But yeah, do pop a like on there for me. If you've not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It really does help me out. And I'll see you again on that very next video. Goodbye.
Thank you.